At first glance, the Shahed-131 drone may appear as a budget, low-tech alternative that falls short compared to the formidable drones deployed by the U.S. Armed Forces. However, beneath its inexpensive and unassuming exterior, this Iranian-manufactured unmanned aerial vehicle conceals remarkable military technology. This has earned it a reputation as a significant adversary on the intense battlefronts of Ukraine. Encased within the drone is a unique and sophisticated warhead, specifically designed to explode into hundreds of fragmentation cubes. These can decimate electrical facilities and other crucial infrastructure in mere seconds, rendering them almost irreparable in a short time frame. The testament to the drone's destructive capability lies in the dozens of Ukrainian electrical plants left crippled in its wake. Upon detonation, the warhead triggers the inward blast of a thin copper cone, concentrating it into a narrow, high-speed jet of metal that can penetrate steel. This jet moves several miles per second, making it the fastest object on Earth outside a particle accelerator. All these capabilities are held within an unassuming, cheap-looking Iranian drone, proving that appearances can indeed be deceptive. A weapon of attrition. As the conflict in Ukraine escalates and tragically devolves into a war of attrition, Russia's initial grandiose displays of force appear to have subsided. Instead, they have been replaced by more understated strategies to undermine Ukraine's resilience in a protracted conflict. Recently, Russia has exhibited a shortfall of modern military equipment leading to an increasingly desperate reliance on a fleet of Iranian-made drones to compensate for their lack of unmanned aerial vehicles. To the West's astonishment, these Iranian devices have proven far more proficient and lethal than initially estimated. The Shahed-131 drone, in particular, stands out with its distinctive warhead configuration, making it a substantial threat. Russia has bombarded Ukraine's electricity infrastructure in recent months with hundreds of these single-use attack drones. The intent is to disrupt the power grid and coerce Kyiv into capitulation by leaving it frozen. Western authorities scrutinized the peculiar drone more closely as this unique weapon started inflicting significant damage on Ukraine's military forces and civilian facilities. This attention led to a high-profile investigation led by investigators at Conflict Armament Research, a UK-based non-governmental organization, culminating in the capture of one of the units. When they disassembled it, they discovered surprisingly sophisticated technology cloaked within the drone's unassuming exterior. It is unlikely that this drone was explicitly crafted to destroy complex electrical facilities. Still, it has proven to be the ideal weapon to target and obliterate these plants, thanks to its powerful and specialized warhead. Fastest thing on Earth. From the exterior, the Delta Wing drone may seem like a simplistic solution, especially when juxtaposed against some of the world's most advanced unmanned aerial vehicles currently under testing. However, its unique Delta Wing design, Wankel engine propulsion system, and the ability to connect with Iridium satellites, which theoretically allows its flight path to be altered mid-flight, have positioned this UAV as a significant threat to Ukrainian forces in the ongoing conflict. Upon examination, the payload, Specifically, a warhead approximately 5.5 inches in diameter and 20 inches long revealed itself to be a sophisticated instrument of destruction, housing no less than four different lethal mechanisms. Combined, they create a spectrum of effects to ensure maximal damage. The most conspicuous component is the high explosive core. While not necessarily the optimal weapon on its own, explosives are unparalleled in their capacity to damage buildings and other structures. Their shockwaves can level walls. Although a fraction of the size of a cruise missile, the Shahed 131's warhead is powerful enough to obliterate a small building. The warhead's nose houses a hollowed copper cone fixed into the explosive, the open end pointing forward. This is a shaped charge, known in military jargon as HEAT, an acronym for High Explosive Anti-Tank. When the warhead detonates, the thin copper blasts inward, focusing it into a narrow, high-speed burst of metal capable of piercing steel. This jet travels several miles per second, the fastest thing on Earth outside a particle accelerator. Typically, heat warheads are employed in anti-tank weapons. 
For instance, the U.S. Hellfire missile, which has a warhead similar to the Shahed's, can pierce over 30 inches of armor plate and take out the heaviest tanks. Fragmentation Drone The other component that rounds off the current design of the Shahed-131 drone involves rows of metal cubes packed around the explosive in a series of lethal rings, a modern interpretation of an older concept. In 1787, British artillery officer Henry Shrapnel noticed the then-recently developed explosive bursting shells had minimal impact on enemy troops because the blast quickly dissipated with distance. He proposed enhancing the rounds by filling them with a layer of lead musket balls to address this. This innovative approach proved significantly more effective as an anti-personnel weapon, launching lethal projectiles further than the reach of the blast radius. This new weapon was named the shrapnel shell, and the metal projectiles it deployed were termed shrapnel. From then on, most artillery shells and bombs have been constructed with a metal casing that shatters to produce fragments. However, the fragmentation matrix in the Shahed-131 appears to be of a lower quality than the rest of the device, suggesting that it may have been added after the primary development phase had concluded. It's even possible that this addition was made by the Russians. Damien Spleters, the Deputy Director of Operations at Conflict Armament Research, noted, quote, The fragmentation matrices appear to be a later addition, with poor fit, finish, alignment, and quality. The metal cubes in the Shahed-131 measure about half an inch on each side, significantly more extensive than anti-personnel shrapnel. This suggests they are ideally suited to tear through vital equipment, such as electrical machinery. Such modifications are not uncommon in the military sphere. For example, U.S. weapon engineers upgraded the original Hellfire missile when its target was changed from Soviet tanks to lighter targets. Adding a fragmentation sleeve enhanced its effectiveness against personnel and light vehicles. 360-degree destruction However, as if a maelstrom of oversized shrapnel was not enough to make this unique and unassuming drone a formidable force in the current conflict in Ukraine, the UAV has another devastating weapon up its sleeve as an overkill measure to make sure it brings the utmost destruction to whatever facility it targets. The warhead is studded with 18 unassuming metal ovals, arranged meticulously around its exterior. Innocuous at first glance, but when ignited, each transforms into an aerodynamic slug, an explosively formed projectile, or EFP, hurled outward at supersonic speeds. While the jet burst from a shrapnel charge only travels a few feet, it retains its lethality over vast distances, from a few meters to an entire city block. Each EFP leaves a larger hole capable of delivering a lot of damage at the price of not having the piercing power of a shape charge. The lack of penetration makes them rare commodities in modern warheads, reserved for special occasions where maximum penetration isn't the main event. Iran, a past master in EFP design, has a history of springing EFP traps on U.S. forces in Iraq. They laid these lethal landmines by the road, ready to unleash hell sideways into passing vehicles even the beefed-up, mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicles. The Shahed-131's 18 EFP slugs work as a devastating 360-degree shotgun of destruction, radiating outward from the warhead. Although these slugs cannot penetrate walls or damage heavily armored vehicles, when targeting electrical equipment or light vehicles, the outburst of slugs can cause unmatched devastation and ignite any flammable material in the vicinity of the initial strike. Housing such an impressive arsenal of destruction inside a relatively cheap and straightforward drone design gives the Shahed-131 a considerable advantage for Russian forces in Ukraine. Despite not having advanced war equipment, these fearsome drones can now cripple Ukraine's infrastructure at an affordable price until Ukraine finds an efficient way to counter them. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more incredible wartime technology and its use in history's most epic battles, Tap on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. We publish new videos regularly, so stay tuned.